Good morning. Happy Friday. I'm the Moon Mama. How are y'all doing today? Today is a Venus day and Venus is currently in Gemini retrograde. And so Venus is the planet that governs how we relate to one another and to ourselves. It's also the planet that governs our sensory body, like our feelings, like this, you know, our sense of taste, touch, smell, hearing. Um, and that's Venus in Taurus, which is about our senses and then how we then make, create our physical world reality through our sense of value. How we make money is based upon how we feel about ourselves and how we know ourselves to be. And this is a very fascinating energy in this um, experience of Juneteenth and um, black people who have been in this country working for free and it's an it's it's such an intricately connected thing it's like um one of the things that i have discovered in my studies in this you know studying history and studying politics and all of that is it's a tricky thing to understand what it's like for people to work for 400 years the people who were captives here black americans captives working for free for 400 years. So you, you give all of this energy and all of this output and then you get nothing in return for it. Like you don't get money or resource that gives you the freedom to then create your life in the way that you want to in exchange for you know your energy in exchange for something equally of value. And so that's what's happened in this nation. You know, black people built this nation and for 400 years there was no energetic exchange that says you know for you giving me this this is the value that and that's that's nature nature does that it just gives an exchange and so that's one of the reasons why our country is doomed <laughs> because it has not paid its debt to um to black people and it's and how it's energetically wired is because black people are so strong, like that we are connected to the environment in this way that is unseen. We're connected to the environment through um, our ability to commune with nature, with the, with the electromagnetic field. And so as the energy on the planet increases and our relationship with light is changing. It's the places within our psyches that have not been strengthened, that are not um, that are not fortified, which is this experience of America, because the debt hasn't been paid. The places that are not fortified are weak, and so as the energy changes the the system is just breaking down further and further and further because there is you know it's like a um there is there is an some there's a discrepancy in the foundation is what i'm saying so so that's what's happening in our country right now it we're breaking down from the inside out um the other thing that's interesting about venus in retrograde is I personally have been working on reframing my sexual um, sensory experience because I've shared with you guys before here that I've been working for the last year to really get clear about my own my own sexual energy and how it's wired and and that I when I was an infant my parents would have sex with one another with me in the bed with them they were young they had no idea what they were doing they didn't understand that I was a sponge and I could feel everything going on with them and so that early sensory energy imprinted me and it created in me this sort of yearning and desire for um, like I remember I used to hear the my mother sounds and they would create sensory pleasure in my body. And so I as a young at a young age I would yearn for that. And so that had that has been running me, you know, since I was since I was born. And so now I'm doing the work to shift those sensory um connections 
to repattern my brain. Um, and I, what I use is breath work. I use um, cranial sacral work with a friend of mine and womb work and crystals to really begin to re-channel the energy through my body so that it's not connected to a false, um, like a false sensory experience of pleasure that really isn't um, in alignment with my health and well-being. That it, because it, because it was imprinted on me when I was so young, it, it, it creates like a real dissatisfaction. Um, for instance, if you like infants when they're born, they really need to bond with their with their parents or an adult, and that bonding does something to your sensory body. That holding, that cuddling, does something to your sensory body, and because I didn't have that as a child, my senses would would look for something, someone to bond to, because my my mother was depressed and she didn't hold me in the way that. Um, she should have. And so that bonding inside of me got miswired. And so I've been spending the last year or so working to transmute it. And this is the most rigorous work I have ever done because it's not intellectual. It's not something that I can totally, you know, make sense of, but I've been working to do it so that I can make better sense of it so that I can literally begin to reprogram my brain and my body and my sensories and my senses so that I can um, really break that pattern that I have lived inside of for you know, a long time. And so some of this shows up in, in our own lives. Like we might eat when we're feeling anxious. We might um, shop when we're feeling a, sen a sense that we can't, um, a sensory feeling that you know makes us yearn for something. So we do shopping, we eat, we have sex. And for me, mine has shown up in my sexuality. And so I am really excited that we have this energy to work with Venus. And as Venus is retrograding in Gemini, where the moon is today, we are doing the work to repattern how we relate to ourselves, to others, our senses, our feelings, um, how our minds are connected, how our minds are connected to to others and how our thoughts and how our thoughts then connect to how we feel and how our feelings then connect to how we act and the choices we make. All of that is Venus in retrograde in Gemini. And it's, it's an incredible way to see how your relationships come into being. Um, and so I encourage you all, like I know I'm sort of all over the place, but I encourage you all to just spend time as we are moving into this energy for the new moon in Cancer, which is gonna be an eclipse or solstice, Mercury in retrograde. Like we're just being given an opportunity to change at the deepest core levels of ourselves to truly understand that we are sovereign and that there is nothing outside of us that can shift our reality or there's nothing out we are creating everything there is nothing outside of us that is real it's important to understand that everything this is the operating force this is where everything comes from nothing is happening to you that is outside of your own creation of thought of feeling of speaking of um of your deep historical pattern it's all from within you and um, and we are having an opportunity to change our relationship with everything, to change our relationship with money, to change our relationship with love, to change our relationship with our historical um, understanding of who we are, to change our relationship with spirit. All of it at the core is like a rewiring, a reboot. That's what eclipses are. They are a complete and total reboot. And this eclipse is happening at zero degrees of cancer. And so we are in the process of rebooting ourselves. And the way to do that is to bring yourself home to yourself. You are sovereign. You are whole, perfect, and complete, just as you are. There is nothing outside of you that can make you more whole than you are. There is nothing that anyone can take from you that would 
make you be less than whole and perfect and complete. We have been whole and com perfect and complete from the moment that we got here and we are always whole, perfect and complete and nothing can change that. And so we have an opportunity during this weekend, during this eclipse energy to just bring our energy home to ourselves and rest in the assurance that we are enough, that there is nothing that can add anything to you and that there is nothing that can take anything from you. And so let that sink in today. Mm. There is nothing that can add anything to you and there is nothing that can take anything away from you. You are whole, perfect, and complete. Just as you are, you are enough. And so with that, I am the Moon Mama. I encourage you all to register for the Mercury Retrograde course. We're doing the work in this class to, re -sh to shift the energy, to change the patterning, to really understand that we have the power and we're, we're, we're flipping the energy on this. So I encourage you to join. And also, um, this is the last few days of the Venus retrograde work. And so if you're interested in that, you can join that too. Everything in my link tree. I'm going to be doing a planting moon meditation tonight for this eclipse energy. If you're interested in that, please go here and sign up for my mailing list, my email list. The link is going to go out. The, the link will go out today. The meditation happens at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're going to be planting the new moon in Cancer, bringing you home to yourself, knowing that who you are is enough just as you are. So if you want to join that, um, that's free. And if today is Friday. If you'd like to make donations, you can just donate to me for the work that I do. I would love that. And you can do that at um, Cash App Monique Ruffin or Cash App um, or Venmo dollar sign Monique hyphen Ruffin cash app dollar sign Monique Ruffin okay peace and blessings everyone have a wonderful day bye-bye